Here he is. Hey, uh, you just got the audio on. Gordon. Hi. Hi there. So, Jordan, you've been having quite a, an interesting uh, time lately. Yes. Yeah. How do you mean in particular? Well, just you've been making lots of broadcasts. You're, you're, you, you've recently come out of a, of a institutionalized, uh, what would you call it? Facility? Hell? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I call it. Yeah. So Our what medical happened? system. Um, well, I, uh, I wanted to experience, I suppose, um, I don't know, well-being. And uh, I had an experience where I, I uh, was expressing myself creatively. And one of the things that I did was uh, I was taking Advil and I had, uh, I had too much and I got sick from it. And um, I, uh, I had a friend call the, the, the uh, ambulance to help uh, take me. I was having, I was literally having some, uh, I was very clear-minded, very, very, very cognitively like sound and uh, very emotionally like balanced and happy. Uh, but physically, I definitely needed some, some medical assistance. Um, my, my body was, was having some disturbance. And, uh, and so the paramedics came and they, they uh, picked me up and brought me to the hospital. Um, and, uh, I, at the hospital, I was, uh, uh, I was just, yeah, kind of just, um, checking out what was like, uh, my, following my experience, I was, um, my body was moving, right. They, 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 the first thing that they wanted to do was handcuff me to a bed and, uh, I'm very strong and I'm very well balanced. And, um, they said, we need, we're going to handcuff you to bed. I'm like, you don't need to handcuff me to bed. It's like, no, we, we're going to, I'm like, no, I don't want to be handcuffed to a bed. And um, the doctors came and nurses came and security came. And there was, uh, there was 10, 10 people on me trying to handcuff me to this bed, but they couldn't move me because I'm so freaking strong physically. Cause I'm, cause I, I carry a lot of stuff every, I, I'm strong. Anyway, they couldn't move me. They tried and they tried and I was a rock. They couldn't handcuff me this bed. Fine. The police came. And when the police, I love the police. I love the police. Medical system is, is like bananas crazy. But the police are sound and safe. And then the fi final, the police showed up, two police officers, and they were calm and collected. And I looked at them and I said, am I safe? And they said, yes. And I said, okay. And I surrendered. And I, I allowed them to handcuff me. They handcuffed me to bed and left me there for four and a half days. Uh, four and a half for, days. Four and a half days. Uh, handcuffed my hands and feet to a bed. Like, um, are you and, saying like all four? Like you're yeah, like yeah, spread out. Yeah. For four days. Yeah, four and a half. Yeah, a little over that. Yeah. Did they talk and, to you? Uh, not really. A little bit. Yeah. Like, did they yeah. say we are going to leave you here for four and a half days, or they just told you nothing? No, they they told me told me nothing. Oh, here's some police officers driving past me now. Oh, I love the police. <laughs> the best. The very best. Um, and, but uh, yeah, they, you know, they, uh, it was perturbing. And uh, I'd be thirsty. I need water. And I'd call for help. And nobody would come sometimes. Sometimes no one would come. And, uh, and there wasn't like doctors checking in with me. You know, that, I mean, they, they were like, you know, checking my blood pressure. And, and, but, but frankly, I was like mainly just held hostage against my will chained to this bed um yeah so uh just come kind of, just come kind of playing playing around with some so there, there was something that, that was a little perturbing i would like some uh, clarity on and that was i saw you did a pinky swear with blood on it as part of your facebook stream and uh, i think perhaps that i'm just guessing you've lost a little trust in the community that some of the people are are worried about you and your mental health and whether you should be on some type of uh, supplements or pills or medication or mm. like what's what's going on in that realm? You know, you know, I was I was in a I was in the realm of uh, of dedication and uh, kind of like like um, I I moved in with some 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 a really good friend and uh, they needed help cleaning up their place. And I was talking about trust and dedication, and we were talking about friendship and, and loyalty and, and absolute transparency. 
Um, I'm I'm spending my days. I spent the last four four and a half days like voraciously, voraciously. Was that the voraciously? That's why I'm cleaning, cleaning and tidying, cleaning, tidying, bringing order to the space. And uh, you know, because there's the, you know, it's just like maintaining the space is a big is a big uh, is a big feat. And um, I was outside. You know, this is so. This is the tabs I'm on: dedication, loyalty, and uh, I'm outside cleaning. And there's some glass there. And it was, it was some of the glass, it was broken. And I'm like, well, we can't have broken glass on our front steps. And I, and part of it was wedged and I tried to get it out and I cut my finger. And so I, I cut, I cut my, I cut my finger on that little piece of glass. And then I made that post and then I'm like, oh, it's kind of like, and I look at my finger it's bleeding. And I'm like, oh, it's kind of like a, like a, I don't know. I thought, I thought it was uniquely synchronous of, of uh, something interesting and uh, you know, and the pinky swear? Because that's a pretty powerful agreement. Like the pinky swear is is, is, is the top of, of a solemn agreement. So what did you pinky swear to? Uh, transparency and integrity in, in, uh, in my uh, loyalty and service to humanity. Like, and, and, and the friends, you know, that I respect and believe in and, you know, I'm wishing to be my be the very best human that I can and give everything everything that I have to uh, service to humanity. That's my first and first and foremost. That's my first and foremost. And I believe that my passion and bliss and joy can be fully fulfilled and realized in absolute surrender and service to humanity right i don't need to wear i don't need to wear a mask i can keep myself a distance safe distance to make people feel comfortable they can see my smile i don't need to stock shelves or flip burgers to make money you know if things are rough there you know i don't mind losing everything for the purpose of serving humanity with my god-given passion and talent and prowess Hmm. I like that last one. So you've got a room then? You're you're uh, you're stable inside then? Because I think people were worrying about the different parts of your life, whether they were sort of falling apart but not realizing that it was kind of actually the methodology for you to proceed. I, yeah, absolutely. I had to, you know I had to break down everything. I had to I'd break down, um, you know, human thought because there's. Uh, there's incongruency I've been experiencing, you know, um, my big, my, you know, my biggest thing is, is trust in the community and, and, you know, friends are, friends are calling me and they're concerned and I'm like, Hey, I'm making a show. I went to the doctor. I, I seen a psychiatrist. They gave me like a hundred, you're, you are a hundred percent well and good to go. <laughs> you know, I had that confirmation from, and uh, um, I just feel there's this lack of, you know, I have these, these friends, these close friends, and they're talking to me on the phone. I'm saying, I'm well, I'm doing my best. I, I have a mission of, you know, being of service to humanity within my passion. And, uh, but I'm, I'm doing well. And they're just like, you're not well. I've seen your videos and I've drawn my conclusion and you're not well. And I'm like, you're talking to me right now. I'm not going crazy. I'm not lighting myself on fire, cutting myself, okay? I'm, I'm making a show, talking about human shadow, partly. And uh, I'm, it's a show, you know? And, and, they, and, and I'm just noticing that there's some people that trust their own discernment, their own, okay, I hear you. I'm listening to you. I'm, you know, applying what you're saying with my own sovereign wisdom, you know? And, uh, and then there's people that are like, I made a conclusion a week ago about something that you posted. And now I'm going to say that you are messed up and nothing that you say. And that's what our medical system is. You know, we've drawn this conclusion. You are schizophrenic, you're a manic, you're a bipolar, and you are this, and you, God save you. We're going to give you drugs to suppress, you know, what's going on, but we're certainly not going to allow you to just uh, 
exist in a peaceful way because we don't believe that that is possible. <laughs> that yeah, that that's the mission statement of our of our medical system in in Canada. <laughs> side notes as I okay, as go. So, uh, so that that may be. Let's bring up the inner world. Let's bring up the the media systems and the the coding system. Is this leading you to greater misery? Is this leading you to problems or is this actually the path that you're going down? Like I need some clarity because it seems to me I've gotten feedback around your mental state and how much you're in that world, in the world of theory. And then how does that translate into practicality? Because I think most people are sort of assessing your, your reality interpretation because you're so good at speaking. Sometimes your speaking may not be actually related to reality. So what about that? Mm. Mm -hmm. So relating, uh, are you talking about the difference between like, like how it's equating in, in my well-being, what I'm, what I'm working on? Well, and maybe on the impact of others of you. Yeah, well, I'm, I, for, I, I'm looking for trust and I'm with a friend. I'm staying, I have a, I have a bedroom, I have a, I have a place I'm staying. I'm staying with a friend and we're experiencing trust and they're, they, they feel me, they see me and they, we talk in love. We talk in love, and it's a beautiful thing. And, and uh, it's honest and transparent, and the water is clean and clear, and it's, it's fresh, and it feels good, and it's like everlasting. And it's, you know, it, it's incorruptible because it's so clean. And I and I see uh, p friends visit uh, this for the friend that that is staying primarily in the space, and uh, they're they're talking about things that matter and. The, people that are coming by and visiting are just kind of like dulled over and like you know hey we got to focus on this and or like uh, i don't know I'm, I'm just noticing that there's there seems to be a, a split between people that are actually paying attention to i don't know the the moment being being present i hear you i'm here with you i'm i'm equating like wisdom at current and there's people that are jumping to conclusions and are sporadic and are kind of like in, in terms of their own passion seem very dulled and uh content in a way of oh well i basically i think my you know dreams are too outlandish to consider reality and uh and so what i've been doing is drawing up a grounded foundational formula for you know you voice here's a platform where you can voice your your dreams your actual dream, your far, most far-fetched dreams, uh, you can voice like, basically, we as a community will will can help make that happen all together. And we do that by clearing, clearing what's holding us back, and 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 we face that honestly, and it's it's a shadow that we've been shying away from, and it's, it's care of. <laughs> <laughs> no so I'm, I'm posting things that are are they scary yeah they're supposed to be because everyone's terrified but you know i the other day i had a cut you know on my arm and uh from an, from a, from an it's an accident right but then i i had some cherry sauce and i it, the cherry sauce was so delicious that i looked at my cut on my arm and i'm like oh i splattered this uh, this uh this uh, cherry sauce on my arm and it, it looked like this grotesque murder scene and i took a photo of it you know and it's like oh what is he like hurt cutting him? it's like this scary thing but then it's like it's, you go back you, the camera just backs up a bit and they're like no he's enjoying a he's enjoying a, a sunday cherry waffle with his friend and it's actually beautiful and that's what we, you know that's the kind of grace that we need when we're talking about things like world war ii or you know slavery or fascism it's like we need to be able to not just blame but we, we need to be respect like respect the actuality of human suffering right but we also need to be able to have a way to not lose ourselves in the sorrow and be able to laugh and and so you know in on one chat on one page let's go deep into the you know the horror but then on the next page let's say no we were just we were just exploring that of our own free will it's not we weren't we were show, showing a, a depiction of the 
the feeling of slavery, the feeling of abuse, you know, but we weren't actually abusing anything. You know, it was, a, it was just a show so that we can have a discussion about something that matters. So you're saying that a lot of the videos which you've been posting aren't necessarily the reality. They're Correct. pieces of art. And they Correct. may be in something which you've called uh, uh, Pandora's Box. Could you explain so, the relationship between Pandora's Box, Fairy Tale Warriors, and Quantum Flux? Uh, Hyperflux. Hyperflux. Thanks. Yeah, so this is this is how we this is how we code our life. So everything we look at everything with four we look at everything in, in four components. And the fifth one is is our sacred experience. You know. Um, but we look at everything in um, a way of uh, um, Hotel Death Fighters is the name of the primary show that I'm creating. Uh, and um, it represents purpose. So here's the four, these are the four things that we're looking at. And we just like, imagine if you cut the screen in four, okay? So we're, four things we're looking at. Purp uh, uh, purpose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, feel, I feel a rush of pressure now. Um, purpose, passion, play, and equity. And as long as we balance everything, everything in our life, friends, partners, family, shadow, money, everything that we're doing and consider those four quadrants as well as our, our well-being, um, things balance out, I'm noticing. So on, 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 uh, on one hand, we're, we're looking at first, what is the purpose of what we're doing? That's the, that's, you know, the purpose. That's why we're here. That's what, what we're doing. What are we, you know, our passion, right? Alpha channel. Here I am, spunky rock star on the loose, like wild artist. Like I can create these, I don't know, pretty, pretty realistic, hyper-realistic images. Uh, and then uh, play, you know, uh, I reserve the right to be vulgar because, you know, sometimes we need to, yeah, I mean, we're, 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 we're human, you know. There's words. I'll say the N-word just out of respect for this channel, but there's words that are off limits to our community. There's words that I'm listening to beautiful art that's been created um, about, I don't know, expressing, expressing culture in, in, the, in the black community. Can I say that? Dark, darker skin? I don't know. Um, but there's lyrics that I can't sing. I'm not allowed because of my skin color. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying, I'm saying we need to face that. We need to talk about that. And, and uh, there's, anyway. We're gonna play there. That's where the play comes. That's where the play comes, okay? So playing in the shadow, being respectful, holding sacred, but playing. And then equity, global equity, right? We don't need to have such, you know, we could all be millionaires. We could all be billionaires. We can all be however many, we don't need to think about terms of money. Like a smile can be worth $10,000. You don't need to exchange. I can go to a restaurant and I can just order food and, and people could bring the food because they love to serve and love to make food. And I love to eat. And there doesn't actually have to be an exchange of money. And, you know, maybe I, uh, you know, maybe I wash a dish while I'm there hanging out or maybe I play a song. Or I don't know. But there doesn't need to be this like harboring this like, oh, I, I need to, to collect this money so that I have this like, I don't know, I don't need anything. And walking down the street, it's a sunny day. You know, a smile, a smile, a smell, and a and a sandwich are worth more than a million dollars. You know, on a day like today. So let's think of yeah, think think equity, think in terms like that human quality of life, on a on a global global okay. family scale. Okay, I, I like that. Uh, I got another question, and it's. It's sort of in relationship to Captain Sweep and me. Like, do you feel that I am leading you more towards greater insanity or mm -hmm. leading you towards greater coherence or assisting you rather than hurting you in terms of our interaction and the relationship of the intensity of the very secret plan and the inflow matrix as a, as a bridging mechanism, but perhaps it might lead to more craziness. That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't think it leads to more craziness. I think it leads to more awareness about how crazy everything is. 
And so with my channel, what I've been doing is, uh, you know, not going crazy, but as I'm, as I'm realizing how crazy the world is, like the, our, our cultural protocols are, right? It's disturbing. It's disturbing. And, you know, I, I tried, I tried speaking on Facebook with a, with a, a tone that fit the perturbance and no one really said anything. Nobody cared. And I'm like, this is what we need to focus on globally. This is the thing. This is the thing that we need to focus on. And nobody, nobody cared. And so I'm like, okay, well, that seriousness doesn't work, right? Seriousness with a, with a tone that applies to, anyway. So I'm like, uh, okay, well, I'll make, this, I'll make this show. I'll make this horror show then that just like depicts the craziness. Not that I'm going crazy, but I'm just showing you the essence of crazy that I'm seeing. It's just wild and perturbed and abusive and manic and crazy. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, and now, and now I, and now I'm like seeing people are calling me and I'm like, Hey, I'm well, it's been checked out with the doctor. Things are going good. And they're like, you're not well. And I'm like, no, it's, what you're not listening. You don't, you're not like, you're not listening. Be present. Anyway, and I'm, I'm starting to see there's a, there's a, like Mo Moses split the waters, you know, and that's what, what's happening with my friends and community. It's like, some people are just, they're just dropping off and they're like, no, I've decided that you're crazy and I do not have any trust or faith in Jordan Stallman, no matter what he says. And some people show up to the moment and they're, you know, sunshine and glimmer and they see me and they're like, oh, no, he's, you're good. I'm happy you're here. And, and we just have a great time and eat uh, cherry waffles. And uh, make a horror show about how perturbing human culture is right now on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the people that I'm spending time with. Okay. You know? And that feels good. But you, the question was more in relationship to, to my own work, uh, not necessarily oh, okay. other people, right? I just want clarity on that. Well... I've been, uh, I, I have been integrating your, your primary work of the time stream, uh, of that, of that module in my life for years. And so it's, uh, it's interesting to speak about because it's so, it's so natural and makes me feel so naturally like attuned to just well-being in my life my own sense like sense of self and and my own guidance that it, it's it's really interesting because now it's like it's hard to it's hard to talk about because it's so who who i am now so yes I, it's like it's it's essential it's absolutely essential it's your work has has magnetically it can't, uh, has magnetically attuned me to discover who I really am and be able to treat myself with respect and care, you know, and, and to, to be able to know where to tune in for, for holistic awareness to, yeah, I need to take a class with Captain Sweet, frankly, because there's a, there's a word called wisdom and there's a word called knowledge. And uh, I'm a little confused. And frankly, I could use a class from, from you. Yes, uh, I would love to, to, to learn the difference between knowledge and wisdom um, through the uh, Info Matrix and the Paradigm Toolkit. And uh, with that, it's kind of hard, hard to speak about it without okay, that. Okay, because I guess what I want to clarify is when you went into the hospital, there was this feedback mechanism. I'm not going to talk about the who specifically, but just the feedback mechanism around you was kind of stating, stay away from him unless you are sort of going to go along with the idea of medication or counseling or help. Like we got a major problem here and we have to deal with it. And you're not going to help out if you're sort of uh, reinforcing ideas that Jordan has had in a sense. This is just part of what I got. And just, I just know you and I, you know, we've, we've actually spent a lot of time together and you are one of the few people utilizing what I've got 
And if you are out there in the, in the public being seen as crazy in a sense, it's, you know, I just, I, I want to make sure that whatever I'm bringing into the world works. I want to make sure that it's helping people, not hurting people, right? So I know that there's a, to me, you have a, a, a brilliant media network mapped out with, you know, just depth and depth and depth. And what the model you just shared here is just part of many other models that are all uh, integrated within one whole system that, you know, if you had the time and people had the interest and they sat down with you, you could show this very elaborate system, this very yeah. elaborate, well thought yeah. out. It's, it's, it's always with me. It's color coded. It's, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's like from a systems point of view, because I've done the same thing, I can speak about that. And I can also know that I doubt m most people around you know the extent of when you're doing your little papers and strings and things which may appear weird or insane. In fact, it's actually a highly conceptual yeah. mapping system that, that makes sense, but you're just, you're utilizing the art around you. You're utilizing, you know, a very yeah. expensive method Can I, because, because you're, you're using what you have to, to do what you could, but perhaps if you had the million dollars that the, the, the strings would actually be, you know, scripts and the, the, the video screens, the little posted yeah. video screens, right? And, you know, you, there, there'd be international network anyway so i just want to say that from my point of view as a systems designer I, I i i acknowledge your own brilliance in that field and you just haven't had the work area the support mechanisms the resources to actually put into practice so you just i know when you don't have that artists tend to go into the conceptual and go okay well i'm just going to go deeper into the idea flush that out and by the time maybe some resources come around, I'll be ready even more because I really, you know, the whole idea is done now, right? Like it's, it's ready to, to fill in the, the reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And absolutely. And, but it's like, uh, you know, now I, it's, I've got to the end of, of conceptual and I'm, and I'm just, I'm literally just walking around every day with everything I need to make a presentation to uh, like, like uh to talk about global economic sustainability i have i have everything i need with me and i'm, I'm complete and i'm just uh you know now I, i'm just looking to um i don't know bring bring uh traction around the idea of of well-being as something that we can anchor to and 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 start i don't know equating like health in our community uh because i because like i said i'm seeing this like some some people are really for presence and health and some people are kind of more in the chaos spin um can i ask what do you have a guitar i do i i just something that sort of changed over time as you've gone more into the conceptual side but most of the time i've seen you that's the world we play in but your guitar playing and you're singing when I first met you seemed to be more the, the priority. I just, it, you I know what, it, it, music it, was going to come back in more. It is. And, and I, I don't like, uh, I don't have money to, uh, to, to buy food right now. And I'm hungry. My phone is, uh, is broken. I can barely see the screen. Um, I, uh, my, my phone is going to be disconnected tomorrow because I can't pay my phone bill. Uh, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm happy and content and also, um, kind of, uh, there doesn't seem a lot of room for me to just relax and, and, and music, music, you know, is, is something that like I, I hold in a place of I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. Or not even, not even that, not even that. I feel, you know, I'm like, I just feel like there's so much, like, I don't know. I'm not playing music, but I don't feel like playing music. You know, and sometimes I do and some, and, and, uh, and, and my music changes. It makes, m music makes things better. Music makes things better. And I, I, I don't know. I just feel uh, right it now. Was, I feel I just, right now I feel hungry and I don't feel like making it, a song and I don't feel like playing music to make money to 
eat. No, I feel like eating and uh and I feel tired, you know, until and and yeah, that's not that's not fun. It's not fun to to I want to I want to feel taken care of and and held. And from that place, from that place then I want to make music. Mm. I don't want to make music to get anywhere. I want to make music to revel in in passion and truth and wisdom. Okay, just a couple more things before um before that event at the hospital you'd gone through a pretty rough last month right like you had episode after episode after episode of, of setbacks and things that most people just one of them would find very difficult yeah but it kept happening to you yeah totally. and so by, by the time you went to the, the last hospital i mean that to me handcuffed for three and a half days to a bed totally. <laughs> that, that's about every, as, I that's I pretty every... bad I've had everything stolen. But everything's had, stolen. I got, I got, I got taken, and that's not the first time I was taken. <coughs> um, I was taken against my will to the hospital again, locked, locked away. Um, this was before this time, and while I was in the hospital, someone took my house key. I had an apartment to my, I had apartment, my first apartment to myself. Somebody went to my house with my apartment key, and threw out and took like stole everything everything every item that i had in my life took it and and you know it's just gone and then and then uh That's and it. then i lost i lost the apartment when i came out of the 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 uh hospital so i i had a house filled with everything that i own and i i got taken away against my will to the hospital and when i came out everything was stolen and gone and that happened that happened multiple times and I've had everything stolen. I've had, you know, laptops, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of, of computer equipment and data and, and videos and music from years and years of work. Just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. And finally, I realized, you know what? It doesn't matter. Because now, like, I'm happy and I don't need anything to, you know, express the, the uh, you know, how, like, purpose passion play and equity right and equity is uh, i'm gonna go to commercial drive i'm gonna smile at some people maybe pick up some garbage and that makes the world a better place right hopefully i can get, get a fucking sandwich along the way because <laughs> i'm fucking hungry <laughs> but it's fun it's like i love life i love life it's boring. okay if you're if you were going to give a message let's say to your friends because to me this is a message to your community right just to kind of clarify where you're at and if you could get some support right now in terms of let's say work exchange or food exchange or anything what what, what would you ask for and what are you willing to give for it? uh probably between um 20 and and uh, 400 dollar increments uh through through e-transferring to my account and in exchange i do uh i think really the biggest thing i'm doing right now is tidying spaces i have a powerful ability to bring order and cleanliness and so i can go into a space and order it and so, so it has an incredibly beautiful energetic flow and uh right now i've been you know this is how i'm uh this is my exchange for a living this is my exchange for a, a lot of different things but i'm very talented at uh, making spaces clean, organized, and beautiful, you know, and I'm strong moving furniture. I can move all the furniture by myself and I can move very, very fast. Uh, I just listen to dubstep and I make magic. Okay. Yeah. So that, that sounds like it'd be there for spring cleanup. There'd be a lot of people who need some help. Okay. So yeah. what, I, what I'll do is I'll load this up. I'm, I'm going to send you 20 bucks for a meal. Uh, just to make sure you got some food, but I, I want to, I trust in your ability to manifest and I'm sort of uh, in the same space of I've been spending a lot of time on my own. Uh, most of my work is, is not paid for. <laughs> so I understand mm -hmm. that you can be doing lots of work and, and people may think that there's you're slacking because you got no money, but you're going, I'm just not getting paid for what I'm doing. Right. Like it's, there's <laughs> like, you're yeah. a worker, you're a good worker. And uh, I really look forward to, uh, seeing some videos by you, like I don't know if your phone's that off, you need a new phone or something, but uh, I know that you're a very uh, good video 
editor when you set your mind to it. I think people could use promo videos or just film them. Like I think I think you're a beautiful filmer, and that you could capture mm -hmm. people. You capture people in a very unique way. And so mm -hmm. I think if anyone out there wants to get like uh, some videos on the net around your business, around what you're doing, uh, Jordan for sure is very talented in this regard. So I'd also suggest that as a yeah. methodology video. of competition. And video creation. maybe there's some healers out there who, because because I think that what you've gone through, like it's traumatic and you're, you're, you're doing so well about it, but you might need some healing, you know, everyone needs some, some nice energetic support in some manner. And perhaps you could do some, again, exchange with videos for, for healing. So mm -hmm. I, I might suggest that. So good to see you, Giordino. I'm uh, glad we had this chat. And again, I'm going to pop it up. I've been banned from Facebook for seven days for my <laughs> political views. I did a, I had a meme of Frodo with, with, with the virus and it said one lie to rule them all. And that got me banned for seven days. Oh, whoa. Crazy. All right. So anyway, I got to go. Good to but, Facebook um, perhaps maybe tomorrow, maybe we can meet up, have a chat. Oh, that'd, yeah, that'd be cool. And uh, maybe plot some devious plans to, to get some action happening in ways that we both don't know, but. But uh, is artistic and meaningful and, uh, and fun. It's big of fun. Okay. Okay. Big love to you, my brother. Good to see you. Uh, it's good to see you clear, concise, committed, convincing. And uh, let's have another one soon. I would love that. I would love that. Thank you for, for taking the time and, and helping me get even more clear. And yeah, uh, appreciate you very much.